For watching this video, I hope that you are interested in trying to prove this statement using mathematical induction and that you have come across induction before. We prove that P of 1 is true, so that's our first term here, sine x. We put 1 in the right hand side, so minus 1 squared is just 1. Sine 2x we replace with 2 sine cos and downstairs we've got our 2 cos x so the 2's cancel, the cosines cancel, lo and behold that equals our left hand side so therefore p of 1 is true. We now l assume that p of k is true or let it be true and that means wherever n is replaced with k so we get this, you can check and the idea is that by assuming that this is true if we can prove the next term which is k, p of k plus 1 if that's true that would then mean that all the other ones uh, are true as well, the so-called domino effect. Now, when we have substituted this in, we can see that all the way up from here to here, that is indeed P of K. Okay? So we can just replace all of that with our expression here. We replace that with minus 1 k plus 1 sine 2kx all over 2 cos x and what comes next is this which will be minus 1 to the k plus 2 uh, what do we have we've got sine now this is 2k plus 2 take 1 so that's going to be 2k 2 take 1 is 1 times x. So just tidy that up a bit. Alright, so we're wanting this to look like this. The first thing that I'm going to deal with is this minus 1 here because in the right in the proof on the right hand side we want a minus 1 to the k plus 2. Now this is a k plus 2 but this is a k plus 1. Now it's pretty simple to turn the k plus 1 into a k plus 2 because I hope you agree with me that minus 1 times minus 1 to the k plus 1, right? Because that's 1 there technically. When I'm timesing by the same base, it will indeed equal minus 1 to the k plus 2. But can I just do that? Am I allowed to just multiply by negative 1? Well, I can't because that changes everything then. So we can though multiply just by 1. So if I multiply by negative 1 again, minus 1 times minus 1 is just 1. So I'm, I can do that. I can just times by a minus. And so I have times by here minus, I better times by there minus. Okay? So by going negative times a negative, it's actually a positive, but one of the minuses is absorbed in here and then the other minus is out the front. So a bit tricky, but hopefully you follow that. That's just messing around with indices. All right, so what that means is I can now replace this with just minus minus 1 to the k plus 2. All right, I hope you don't mind if I do that. So that's going to become minus 1 to the k plus 2. And don't forget the minus has to stick out the front. Go back and listen to what I said again over there if you don't quite get that. So that's looking sharp as to what we wanted. What's now bothering us is this fraction. But that's pretty easily fixed because we know we can make this, that's technically over 1, so to make this have the same denominator as 2 cos x, I'm going to times the top and the bottom here by 2 cos x. And we'll just write that, so I'm going to times that by 2 cos x. And I'm going to times the bottom by 2 cos x. All right. And while I'm about this, I might as well pull out. Can I pull out? I'm going to pull out this common factor of minus 1 of k plus 1. So just pay attention now. We've got minus 1 to the k plus 2 all over 2 cos x because this is now downstairs. And what I'm left with is upstairs. I'm going to write this first, you'll see why soon. Uh, 2 times that, to put the 2 in the front, 2 sine, uh, 2k plus 1x, 
and it's also being times by cos x and then I'm pulling out that factor here so I'm left with minus sine 2kx. Go back over and double check. So this is starting to take shape because I've got my minus 1 to the k plus 2 which is what I wanted. I've got my 2 cos x over here and somehow I have to turn all of this into this bit here. This is where I'd like you to pull out the trig identities and have a look at all of those formulas and one of them should leap out to you which involves 2 sine alpha cos alpha, cos beta. So can you try and look that one up and we find that this is the same as or we can replace it with sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha take beta. I've got the 2 here, I've got a sine times a cos. So that's why this is appealing to me. This will just sort of stick out the back. So maybe pause the video now and your alpha is this and your beta is this. So see if you can substitute that into the formula here and see what happens. So pause the video and try it for yourself. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you are now just checking to see that everything you did was okay and you went, oh my God, it all worked out. I hope. If you didn't, here we go. So following this, the 2 sine cos means I can do this, so it's going to be sine. Now alpha plus beta, so this becomes, I'm going to expand as I go along, 2k times x is 2kx plus 1 times x. And I add the beta, which is this x here, so I'm going to plus the x. And then the next term becomes plus sine, now alpha again is 2kx plus x, but now I'm taking beta, which is the x there, so take x. And we'd like to think the penny is now dropping if it hadn't already, because x take x is no x, and I'm then left with sine 2kx minus sine 2kx. So just to look impressive, we'll actually write all of this out. And from people looking in, it looks like you're doing a massive amount of work, but really we're just rewriting things. Inside the bracket here, I've got 2kx, 1x plus another x is 2x. So over here, those x's cancel. I get sine 2kx minus sine 2kx and so they cancel out and I'm left with minus 1k plus 2. Let's have a look at when we tidy this up. If I pull out common factor of 2x, I'm left with k plus 1 all over 2 cos x. If you compare that to the right hand side, it's pretty much the same thing. Not pretty much, it is the same thing. So we've got sine, all that's different is they put the 2 out the front there, so 2, and then they've said times k plus 1 and the x has come at the end. So it is the same thing, it equals our right hand side and we're done and dusted. So hopefully you were able to get that, it was just this formula that you needed to um, apply. And then you finish with the statement, since p of 1 is true and p of k is true, blah, 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 by mathematical induction. Yeehaw!